All right, Spreaker, what is going on? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Amen, I do, I do. All right, so having a little issue with volume level. Uh, so give me a minute and then we'll get started. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. There it is. All right, so. Oh, well, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let me try to get to my pins. I don't know what happened to those. I uh, usually have a lot of ink pins laying around with me, and there it is. All right, uh, give me just a couple minutes here before we get to uh, our other channel here before we get to Restream TV. Well, like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. Got a lot to cover tonight my friends lamentations and ezekiel right out of the gate right off the start here uh so <laughs> give me a minute and before we get to that all right um let's see now i'm going to put that right here on the pulpit so i can get to it and then uh let's see what we got right here Oh, so much, my friends. Always a lot. So bear with me, guys. Hold that thought. Uh, let's see. We want to do this. I'm trying to organize this. Had it all organized uh, already, and then I don't know what happened. So uh, let's see. All right. I think we're ready to go live here, my friends. Let's uh, go ahead and take care of a intro here. And we're going to go live on that Sunday night service here, late night, a little after 11. Uh, friends, stay tuned. Just a second, and here we go. All right. Countdown. All right, let's count down here, friends. <laughs> Amen. Um, hang on here, friends, so bear with me. Uh, I don't know what's going on. We got shut down here, so give me a minute. Let me... There it is. And... Q! I think. I don't know. Uh, I got a little flash uh, spot there that we were cut off or something that we... Uh, that they didn't do it. So, I don't know what happened here. All right. Hang on. Lots of feedback going on. Uh, amen. Hope you guys... What is going on with my camera angle? Ah, uh, mercy. I don't know. It is distorted. What is happening with that, my friends? Where? What happened here? Um, give me a minute. I've got a blurry camera, and I don't know what is happening with that, that is not good, maybe. Uh, amen. All right, maybe I put the wrong glasses on. Yeah, I did. Uh, all right, give me a minute. <laughs> Always something. I never know here. Give me a minute. Nope, that's not it either. Uh, I thought those were the right glasses, but uh, apparently... Um, is that it? Uh well, welcome to the podcast, friends. Here we go again. I thought uh, I had all this lined up, but for some reason, it's really like, I don't know what's going on with that, uh, but uh, I have no idea. Uh, it's distorted really bad. Um, wow, can I just not get a good podcast going on here, friends? Uh, bear with me. I don't know what's going on. Um, uh, I know I got the camera lens cleaned off, um, so I don't know what happened there. Um, and I do have, I do have the monitor set up pretty good here. So, uh, high definition on the video. We are in the webcam. Looks clear on my end. Uh, but... <laughs> I'm not, no, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have a really uh, distorted looking cover. Um, and I have no idea. I'm looking at the monitors here. 
Still having uh, difficulties with my glasses, so let me see if I can't switch that out, uh, friends. Well, I don't know. I have no idea, friends. This is not good. I'm not liking the camera. I don't know what is happening with that. I really don't. Um, let me see if I, that switches out. And let's go to our other channel here. All right. Um, let's see. Hi. Wow. I don't think it's the camera angle itself or the camera. Because uh, I'm telling you, friends, I am not understanding this here. Um, bear with me, you guys. Just uh, let me see what happened. I just tested this. I was just in the studio testing the camera angle. And uh, <laughs> and it now it just looks like it's just completely distorted. Uh, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what's happening. Uh, and then I know I, like I said, I know I just cleaned it off. I just went through and cleaned out the camera, cleaned off the camera, but it is, uh, looking muddy, looking distorted and looking real unclear, unmoded. I don't know what the word is, but <sighs> sorry about that, friends. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's going to work out. Um, hold on, friends. Let me see if I can't clean up the camera. I don't know. Give me a second. I'm going to jump up there. I'm going to wipe off the camera lens real quick and see if that even does something. But bear with me. You're going to get a, a kind of a blackout part here. Just a second at about four and a quarter, 425 or so uh, here on the podcast. Just uh, friends, give me a second. I don't know what's happening and uh, I already went through this. I cleaned this camera off. So let's see if we can clean it real quick and uh, see if that uh, cleans it up here. So bear with me. we got a lot to cover. Lamentations 5 and Ezekiel, the intro uh, out of the Orthodox Study Bible. And then, of course, I have uh, Ezekiel 1 and 2. So that's just the beginning part of the podcast. Let me get this camera cleaned off again. I don't know what happened, but... Uh, I am looking at it, and it does not look good. It looks distorted, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. So bear with me. Hold that thought. We're going to have a momentary blackout here, and uh, let me see if I can't uh, see if I can maybe clean the lens off a little bit. I just don't know what happened. So I got my rag all ready to go. Here we go, friends. Blackout for just a quick second, and I'm going to clean the lens off. All right, uh, <laughs> let me see if that does it. I don't know. Mercy, what's going on here, friends? I think the devil's mad because he doesn't want uh, he doesn't want this message out here. So let me again. Hang on. All right, uh, bear with me. <laughs> well, what can you do, friends? Laugh or cry, or keep moving. Right? I don't know. Maybe I'll. See if I see it still looks blurry. Um, I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand here, friends. I have cleaned it, tested it, reset it, retested it. Uh, I'm going on the main, like on the main channel part here. Uh, it it looks like it's okay. High definition webcam. <laughs> I don't know. Well. I don't know. I think we're going to just have to keep rolling with it and roll on through another podcast with lots of issues, lots of problems. I don't know what to do anymore, friends. I, like I said, I got a brand new camera in here uh, and uh, it should be working fine. And I don't want to switch to the uh, face cam on the Mac on channel uh, one here. Uh, so I don't know what to do. I guess we're just going to roll on, keep it moving, friends. So, anyway, let me get to the other channel and see what we got going on. Let's get our friends on Anchor Cast Box. And uh, there it is. Let's see. Let's go there. Well, 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 Mr. Devil, 
<laughs> you got to do better than that, friend. You know, like I said, tell the devil about it. You got to do better than that. Because uh, those tricks are old. They don't work. It's not going to work. So let's uh, let's keep moving. Let's keep just rolling on here. Uh, live on Channel 3. Spreaker.com. How you guys doing? All right. Hang on here. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> welcome to the show, my friends. Uh, live restream uh, way a little after 11 o'clock here. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Sunday night, the 18th of December, took yesterday to rest. I uh, really overdid it. Lots of shoveling. And, uh, of course, having that little bug there going on. And wanted to kick that and make sure I was, you know, for what it is, uh, doing better. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I needed that day rest. And we'll see what happens here, my friends. So, anyway, back for Sunday night church service here. Fourth service. Already did uh, some of the updates earlier. Uh, again, trying to keep track of that stuff. Deleted the TikTok account. There is no longer the uh, TikTok ministry channel. Uh, just thought it was time. Uh, so I, I had to email, personally email everybody that I had on the following there. Uh, and let them know that that's what I was doing. So everybody kind of migrated over to the other channels. Which is awesome. And uh, so I spent uh, part of the day yesterday trying to update that, make sure, hey, you got to follow me on the other channels, subscribe to the channels, you know, YouTube here and uh, Twitch TV. Uh, amen. So uh, that's kind of how, <laughs> you know, that's kind of my day yesterday. And then, of course, uh, getting some rest and, uh, you know, trying to stay as warm as possible. Single digits here uh, on our little corner of the planet here. And uh, so I just had to uh, kind of step back and just kind of relax and, and uh, rest it up. So that's what my day was yesterday. So and just like I said, updating all the channels, make sure uh, I keep up with those. It's uh, quite the task, but uh, I enjoy it and glad to do it. So uh, anyway, that was my yesterday. And uh, so we are here today, here tonight, my friends, a little late night fourth service and already out of the gate having issues with the camera i had to jump up there and wipe it off real quick and and i already did that i like i have a uh, kind of those you know the baby wipes with the uh, kind of a glass cleaner kind of style and it worked fine it was <laughs> it was good and i tested the camera earlier uh I I ran through it, making sure the camera was you know set because I kind of jumped. Well, I did jump. I did. I went from uh, Streamyard TV to uh, Restream, and uh, I'm doing two nights of that. Uh, so tonight and tomorrow night, late night service. Uh, try to see what happens on tomorrow uh, with um, with the you know the camera here. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, so yeah, tonight and tomorrow, uh, and I'm not sure, 10, 30, 11 o'clock again, uh, tomorrow after, tomorrow night, on, back on Restream again, then we'll kind of click back to our schedule, uh, Melon on Tuesday, StreamYard on Wednesday, and then I believe uh, we got Thursday, we got Restream again on Thursday. So we're going to be on Restream about three or four times this week. Uh, just because I kind of want to switch it up, get back on track and get back on, uh, get back on focus there and, you know, try to, try to get back on, uh, somewhat of a schedule here for you guys. Uh, amen. All right. So let me do one more thing. I don't know what it is, but hang on. <laughs> let me, let me see what I can do. I got the rag, a little cleanse up, rag, clean up rag here. And uh, I already went through everything and uh, tried to, uh, you know, try to clean everything up. So I'm having some more technical issues here. But, you know, we're going to keep rolling. I don't know what else to do. Uh, and, uh, again, I hope you guys can see and hear everything okay. Uh, now that I got uh, kind of things kind of cleaned up here. 
Still looks distorted. I don't know what it is. I got the right glasses this time. I did switch that out, so should be fine. And I think our camera angle. Um, you guys should be able to see that cross pretty pretty good. I think it's okay here. Uh, it looks like it's blocked out on my side, but it on the main part of the monitor camera, it's fine. Uh, so anyway, you're live, Restream TV, a little after 11, again, on your Sunday night church service. Pastor Rick here uh, at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network on in Studio 8. That's right, I am here. So let me check out one more time here, a couple more times maybe. Possibly, I don't know. Let's go. Let's see. I want to try to make sure the monitors are working. It still looks distorted. I don't know or or blurry. Uh, so I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not sure, friends. Anyway, thank you guys for bearing with me uh, with the first thirty minutes of the podcast right out of the gate. Uh, bad blurry, uh, <laughs> blurry. Uh, camera, a camera. Uh, I don't get it. I'm not sure. I'm not uh, quite understanding what's going on with that. But, and I, I think I'm going to have to readjust my camera again because when I went to clean it, it didn't look like it was back to way it used to be. So anyway, I'm going to just keep rolling. We got prayer, uh, friends. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about, a lot to share tonight, and uh, lots to do. So. All right, so pulling the monitors up. I, I like I said, I'm I'm stumped. I don't know how or what <laughs> what to do with this uh, kind of uh, you know distorted looking camera. It's it looks fine on here. I'm I'm here on the main monitor uh, on the main channel one. Looks fine. I have no problem with uh, what it's doing. So I don't know, my friends. I just don't know. Well, <laughs> let's just go. I don't know what to do here. We're, you know, I got to readjust the camera. It looks crooked again. I think when I hit it, when I changed it over, I bumped it. So bear with me again, you guys. Hold that thought. We're going to change the uh, angle of the camera again. Try to, because uh, when I came into the studio, I actually was, was maneuvering a couple of things, and I bumped into it again. Uh, until I can find another way to do this, I, I'm just, we're stuck. So bear with me, you guys. Hold on. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get that together here. Um, nope. Hang on. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> what's that doing? Is that anything? Nope. Ah, uh, mercy, friends. See what happens when you're live on the air? You can't, I, you know, I don't know what else to do here. So uh, bear with me, guys. You're going to get my big hand in the way. Um, Nope. Hang on. All right. Ah, uh, you get me again here, friends. Bear with me. I am having massive problems again. Sorry about all this. We're going to have to roll it. I don't really know what else to do. Um, camera's off. It, uh... It got bumped, like I said, and um, I'm going to try to fix this again. All right. Is it there? No. <laughs> I don't know, friends. Uh, I might have to just redo this whole thing, delete it out, and restart it. Uh, probably, because uh, I, like I said, I had all this done. It was already straightened out. Um, so... Um, uh, let's see what to do. Do I delete this and restart? I can't edit it. There's a lot to edit out. Um, and I'd rather not have it, uh, with this much trouble and this much problems, uh, as the beginning of it was. So, uh, my friends, do we keep moving on or do I just delete it and get rid of it and try again? I mean, we are already set 30 minutes into the podcast here uh, over, uh, again, massive technical problems. Um, let's see. Let's see if that straightens out. It looks still crooked, but I don't know. Well, <laughs> well, 
technical problems. I know you guys are going to probably speed through all the first part of this first 30 minutes or what do we got? Like first 15, 20 minutes of the podcast here. Uh, not a whole lot I could do, friends. Um, you know, like I said, it was all straightened out. I tested this an hour before and then 30 minutes before the broadcast. And then, um, well, we just lost something. Something just fell over. So I have no idea. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, the devil's really trying to shut this down here, friends. So I may try to get in here and try to edit out the first 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. Um, it's pretty discouraging, you know. Uh, and I guess that, you know, kind of uh, before you even pray it in, I guess that's how, <laughs> well, not guessing, it's how the devil operates. He just tries to get in there and just mess with everything, right? So, and you don't know whether to laugh or cry or just, you know, try to go around things and, and fix things. So, uh, you guys know this is one of the better starts that I have had in a while. Uh, but um, let's just move on, friends. Let's just keep moving. Uh, I hope you guys can see everything okay. I hope you guys can, uh, you know, uh, hear everything okay. I know I've got feedback. I can hear it in monitors. Uh, it sounds all right, so that's all right. Well, moving on and moving forward, my friends. I think that's what we need to do here in our Sunday Night Force service. Uh, again, um, at 11, um, see, not at 1030. It should it should have changed over, but uh, it's, uh, I had to start this, so I kind of restarted and stuff. Well, I think we got to just pray it in. And keep moving, friends. Forget about that. Just speed through the first 15, 20 minutes of the podcast intro. I had a lot of technical problems. And uh, I don't ever I don't ever really just edit stuff out. I just kind of leave it all in. But it looks terrible. And sorry about that, friends. I apologize in advance. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Uh, with the, uh, you know, uh, with the way it is. I cleaned it. And I cleaned it again on air for you, so I know it's not the camera, and I know restream, it's not the problem with the restream, so I don't know, friends, I guess we're just going to move on and and uh, try to get past that first ugly part of the first 30 minutes of the podcast, I guess, I, not much else I could do, uh, and again, every time I retest stuff, it works fine. It The channel works perfect. And then right when I get on the air and go live, I have massive issues. Technical, It's it's been since the start. I mean, pretty much. Uh, but I've, I've learned to kind of go around things and, you know, think outside the box and keep moving forward. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's keep moving. Let's, let's just do it. And uh, let's just pray it in church. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come before you again, humbled and appreciative of the opportunity I have here to share this good news gospel. Thank you for giving me patience, understanding, wisdom, and discernment. Father God, as I pray and keep continue to pray, and as I pray for um, uh, strength and courage to fight against this battle of these Wi-Fi issues of the the camera issues of the technical problems that I keep continually having here, Father God. I surrender and I continue to give this over to you uh, and move forward, move on, get past these problems that I've been having here. I know the devil is mad and he wants to shut this down. I know he's trying to, he, he is attacking. He's not trying. He is attacking this ministry because we have reached so many people and uh, I've I've gotten um, more courage from you, Father God. So, you know, uh, on a personal level, on a uh, professional level, on a ministry level, uh, you have given me that strength and that courage. And that's why the devil is continually attacking uh, this ministry. And I know not only this ministry, but others around me that are doing this uh, podcast, the uh, broadcast here, and the you know the in in your service, 
Father God, out there on the streets, on the freeways, uh, you know, preaching this good news gospel, this this word in churches and, uh, you know, with family, friends, you know, all of it, Father God, we know that we are in the end times and the devil is trying to strike first and strike hard. So we have that counter, uh, Father God, we have that counter. And that is you. And that's holding on to you. That's trusting you no matter what. No matter what, Father God. You give me that strength. You give us that strength. So I want to pray for family, friends, uh, everybody watching and hearing. I want to lift them up, encourage them to just keep pressing in and keep moving forward. Don't worry about what the devil's doing. That's his business. And we got to be about your business, Father God. Uh, so I apologize in advance to those uh, that are out there that, uh, you know, uh, kind of on a personal uh, note here, Father God, uh, I apologize to those that tuned into this podcast tonight and, and had to see, uh, you know, the first 20 minutes or so of uh, the technical problems, uh, Father God. So I surrender that. I give that over to you. Uh, I hope that uh, they get uh, a message out of this podcast tonight, this morning, uh, as we move forward. So I'm going to just pick up that cross drop the net and follow you and keep doing that father god so i just uh want to you know let them know uh pray for family again uh everybody out there uh be encouraged uh don't listen to the devil's discouragement that's all he tries to do and he tries to just throw us off our groove and uh get us taken out uh, a position here so father god i just lift this podcast up to you right now and you're glory, honor, and praise, and just lift this up uh, as we have Sunday night church service here uh, in remembrance of of, uh, of your son, and uh, well, we just keep keep moving forward, pushing on. So, uh, and I know, like I said, Father God, I know your hand is on this ministry, I know your hand is on this church service, and uh, well, we, I trust you, and I give it over to you. So, in that, uh, in that, I ask in Jesus' precious name. I pray, amen and amen. All right, folks. Uh, can you TiVo the first 20 minutes of the podcast here, friends? Just skip right through it. Had major technical problems. Trying to decide whether, like I said, whether I should just, just, just delete the whole podcast and start over again. Or, as I always do, because, uh, you know, the Spirit told me to just be uh, my authentic self and just give you guys how it is and you know the the just the real deal here uh and the real podcast uh you know uh, no matter what no matter what happens don't try to edit don't try to remix don't try to change anything out uh and uh I, you know I, I really appreciate you guys sticking with this ministry uh podcast i know like i always say i know it's a lot different than what you're used to and uh you know, and like I said, I, I I know there's a lot of a lot of uh, you know that uh, edit, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not I'm not you know um, trying to attack it or anything. Um, it's just the way the Holy Spirit gave me this mission that He put me on this path uh, some decades ago. Uh, I'm not supposed to do any of that. I'm supposed to give you the real deal here. And, and there's, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, preachers and uh, pastors and ministers out there on the internet right now that are just being their authentic, direct self as, as God has called us to preach this message, friends. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys for sticking with the channel. Uh, all the views just blow me away. I'm just really really shocked and, and just amazed um i think it hit almost 70 on friday night uh, but uh you know i think we still got one on the air that's still there uh, i think wednesday it was over five thousand or something views or four thousand views um and and i appreciate that i really do that's why i keep fighting to, to fight through this and keep sticking to this plan to god's plan uh no matter what happens no matter what i got to edit through or not edit, but, uh, you know, no matter what I got to go through with technical problems, Wi-Fi shutdowns, blackouts, all that stuff. Um, I have podcasts through storms. 
uh, blackouts, <laughs> floods, goats, uh, you know, noise, distractions, uh, thunderstorms uh, throughout the last 15, 20 years. It has not been easy. It, uh, you know, if I, I know a lot of friends, um, you know, I've talked to, you know, emails and stuff. If I was you, I'd just give up and quit. Pack up. It's time to quit. Well, that's because you're you and I'm me. And I'm, I got a calling. I got a mission to do. I, I don't give up. You guys know that. I don't give up without a fight. I don't quit. Uh, now, I may take a break. You know, and uh, as I just did yesterday, uh, so there's some pauses in between podcasts, and that's just because of the, uh, you know, physical part and, uh, you know, the continuing uh, kind of the, you know, like I said, this just the problems and the issues. Um, but, you know, we keep moving forward, friends, and I thank you guys for sticking with me on that. Just on a personal note from me to you guys, uh, and I hope you keep coming back. You know, I keep hope you that... Uh, or hope that you guys uh, keep sticking around because I got a lot of good service for you. I got a lot of good church service. As I always say, the doors are open. Come on in, have a seat, friends. Grab your coffee, Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, and your highlighters and more uh, because we're going to get in some church service. So, again, thank you guys. Uh, I'm really humbled and really just amazed. Uh, at uh, at everything, and you know, as I as we come to a close for 2022 and move on into 23, I got podcasts already scheduled and set all the way almost that first week of January, uh, and I'll be doing more day to day. You know, it's, it takes a few hours to do all that, but. I'm not going nowhere, friends. I may, you know, have these, you know, a little bit of setback, kind of reflecting on things and have the Wi-Fi and the technical problems. I'm not, I'm not done with God's uh, business yet here, friends. I, I'm just not. I'm not done. And uh, I got a lot more for you. A lot of good Bible studies, a lot of good scriptures for you, uh, friends, and um uh, Again, like I said, I'm not done yet. I got a a pretty heavy schedule and grateful to do it. Hopefully, hopefully uh, we can get back on track and do these podcasts every single day. That was the original intention. Uh, like I said, and I uh, kind of mentioned that before, um, that, <laughs> that was the intention every single day. But, you know, as I said, with problems and issues that just, you know, are just kind of every day with here, uh, you know, in the studios and bringing people in and out, uh, I kind of had to just, you know, work around everything. So, you know, of course, I get my rabbling time in, right? Come on now. Uh, you know, fresh cup of coffee and a little bit of rabbling. And then a Bible study broke out. I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> where's my drum roll? Uh, <laughs> so you guys have come to to love and, and know the channel here. Uh, again, thank you guys for your subscriptions and uh, just hanging out YouTube and uh, restream Streamyard TV, uh, Melon TV. What else? Uh, we got the audio uh, podcast, which I should be doing in the morning. I, I think that's the plan. I'm going to try to get on here after 11, uh, unless we get more snow. And we've already got uh, another six inches on top of what we already had. And uh, so that's pretty much took up my day. So from the first part of the study, and that always has to come in first. And then I, I you know, got, got a few hours of shoveling. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, so anyway, my day was pretty busy yesterday. It was pretty hectic. And, uh, you know, and then of course, got to come in here and uh, relax a little bit and then prepare for the next set of podcasts, which I, I do kind of put all the information in. So, glad to do it. Like I said, never complain. I always appreciate the opportunity, as uh, tough as it is. Uh, you know, I had somebody else, I had one of my other new neighbors, uh, just kind of moved into the block and was like, what do you do? I said, well, let me, let me tell you. You got some time, my brother? Let me tell you what I do. I work for the Lord. I got my fresh cup of coffee. I read the Bible and I preach the word of God, right? <laughs> and I said, he goes, oh, so, uh, yeah. And I said, yeah, I'm a full-time 
uh, full-time pastor, full-time preacher, full-time uh, YouTuber or broadcaster, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, it was pretty nice and I uh, had a good conversation. And uh, welcome the family into the neighborhoods. That was pretty cool. Had, uh, you know, got these kids out there playing in the snow and shovel a little bit. So we had some coffee. We had a little conversation. And that was nice. Uh, so love thy neighbor as thyself. Be nice to people. Uh, give them, you know, uh, give them some soup and a cup of coffee, a Bible, and a hug, my friends. <laughs> Stop the division, is what I tell you, or what I say anyway. Uh, anyway, you know, I get my rambling time in there, friends. Come on now. You come for a Bible study, and you get technical problems and a little bit of rambling. All right, well, we got that out of the way, so let's move on. Let's continue, friends. Listen, we're going to go into Lamentations, Chapter 5. I thought... Uh, you know, as I was doing my studying uh, yesterday and this morning, again, kind of recapping stuff, uh, I thought it'd be good to go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, go ahead and kind of uh, go back into my notes and, and read this, friends. So, um, amen. So, let's see. That didn't help. <laughs> anyway, you come to love the channel, my friends, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, with your support, with your patience, as I always say, with your prayers uh, here for the ministry. Uh, don't forget, friends, PayPal and Cash App links are in the uh, channel. Uh, amen, and I, I appreciate that in advance. All right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Fix that part. So, yeah, get your Bibles. Make sure you got them out for Sunday night church service here, friends. Restream TV. It's, I don't think it's a channel. I just think it's, there was something that I didn't refresh. You know, you, when you have to go back in and refresh your channel. Uh, I, I've had that issue before, not just with Restream TV, but with Melon TV, um, which I think we're, like I said, we're going live on uh, Tuesday. So, I, and I should be back on in the morning, about 11, 1130. Uh, I should be back on, um, oh, sometime around um, 11 or 1130. Depends on when the other minister leaves. Um, he's supposed to be doing some errands tomorrow. And uh, so I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I get in there while I can. I, I, I don't know if unless we get more snow. Uh, amen. Let me try. I'm trying to straighten out my phone cord. Uh, I got a, just a couple more posts I want to do, and uh, as I uh, try to make sure I get that taken care of, but I got most of them out. So, um, all right, so that was pretty easy to do. I got my little power cord over here. So let me try to just uh, send those out real quick. Uh, I did all the main ones uh, for sure. I got all that uh, pretty much taken care of. Twitter live right now. Instagram. Uh, what do we got? Um, LinkedIn is live right now. You guys can check that, those channels out. Now, uh, we will be on, or I'll be on. Um, I, I'm going to do an update on on our Twitch TV channel right after this podcast. So I will be on on the uh, tablet doing a live update. Uh, amen, and uh, I'll be getting that out. So. All right, let me uh, send some of these out here. I think that's okay. That's all I needed to do was the Facebook page. So, uh, amen. So, all right, all right. And let's see, we got that going on. All right. All right, so I think we're okay there. Give me a moment, you guys. Oh, oh I almost dropped my phone. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. All right, uh, let me bring that around. And uh, try to set my phone up here on the monitor. So bear with me, guys. Always something, right? Oh, no, that's not going to work. Uh, let's see if I can do it that way. 
Nope, and that's not going to work. So bear with me, guys. All right. Usually I have all this, uh, like I said, I have all this taken care of. So, all right. I'm uh, just having a little bit of a monitor issue going on. I wanted to make sure that was down there. Uh, so, uh, all right. You're here. Got my rambling done. Got some fresh coffee here, friends. I uh, still got that eggnog going on, so I hope you got your coffee with you. And, like I said, the first 20 minutes of the broadcast, I had some more <laughs> pod or more uh, issues, more technical problems. Um, so, anyway, how you doing, my friends? Live on Restream TV for uh, December 18th. And we started at 11 o'clock, but again, about 20 minutes of problems, 25 minutes of problems. I had to get up there and dust off the camera again um, and restart a little bit here. So <sighs> take a deep breath. It's going to be okay, friends. It's going to be okay. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here jamming for God, my friends. We, we've got a lot to cover. We are going to go into, like I said, our first opening scripture here, friends. Lamentations chapter 5. I kind of came into remembrance here as I was going through my notes, as always. Uh, so let's look at it, friends, and uh, maybe we can, you know, maybe we can get a Bible study going on here tonight when we get some uh, church going on. Uh, amen. See, again, I'm having... <laughs> I'm having trouble here, friends. Help me. I'm having problems. My chair, the camera, uh, cords, right? Cords are tangled. I don't know, friends. Let's. How about we just read the Bible, right? Amen. Thank you guys again. Now, in Lamentations chapter 5, church, we're going to go ahead and check that out. Now, remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, uh, or, or our houses to aliens. Interesting uh, mention there. Now, we are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians and to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Lamentations chapter 5 tonight, friends. Now servants, in verse four, uh, 8 here, servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. We gat our bread with the peril of our lives, or peril of our lives, because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. Uh, amen, friends. Good to see you guys here to this morning. <laughs> they ravaged a woman in Zion and maids in the city of Judah. Princes are hanged up by their hand. The faces of elders were not honored. They took the young men to grind, and the children fell under uh, the wood. The elders have ceased from the gate, and the young men from their or, or their uh, music. All right. Now the joy of our heart is ceased our dance is turned in the morning the crown is fallen from our head woe unto us that we have sinned for this our heart is faint for these things our eyes are dim because of the mountain of Zion uh, which is desolate the foxes walk upon it Thou, O Lord, remainest forever, thy throne from generation to generation. 
Wherefore dost thou forget us forever and forsake us uh, so long time? Turn thou us unto thee, O Lord, and we shall be turned. Renew our days as of old. But thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art very wroth with us. All right. So that is our very first opening here, Lamentations chapter 5. Let me get to one spot here. And then we're going to go into Ezekiel. Amen. All right. Uh, Amen. Now, again, I was rambling. Got me some rambling time in there. Kind of frustrated a little bit having so much issue with, um, you know, with the problems, uh, with the technical part. And uh, with with everything just happening here, friends, it's a little frustrating. Got a broken chair. Still haven't gotten a new one yet set up. Uh, and, of course, with camera uh, angle and or the camera stuff, you know, we're going to keep moving our, forward, friends. We got to keep pushing forward. That's, I guess, that, you know, not think about it. Um, <clears throat> that has been my personal uh, lesson that I've been learning. No matter what obstacles come at us, no matter how difficult life situations hit us, we got to keep digging in and pressing in, friends. That's the, that's the lesson I see that uh, God has been teaching me, the Spirit's been teaching me that, and uh, I hope I can just share that with you guys, and, uh, you know, uh, as we each face our trials and tribulations or situations that just kind of rock our world and, and you know, uh, throw us off, um, we got to sit still, listen to God, or listen to his voice, and, uh, you know, not get caught up in uh, the devil's tricks, friends. And I, I guess that's a, that's one of the lessons that I've been learning uh, here doing these podcasts uh, you know, good or bad, like I said, I keep trying, um, you know, and I hope that, uh, hope that is some kind of, you know, like share with you a little bit of a, a lesson here that, uh, again, no matter what obstacles we get, we get at us or we get thrown at us, we got to keep pressing in and we're going to be okay. We're going to get through the situation, friends. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like I said, I do appreciate uh, appreciate you guys being so patient with me. Uh, amen. So, um, let's see. All right. So, we are going to roll to Ezekiel, my friends. It's going to be the next podcast, or this podcast message. We're going to look at the, uh, the book of Ezekiel, and uh, we're going to look at uh, the intro. Again, out of the Orthodox Study Bible. All right. Um, Let's see what we've got. So, author, date, major theme, background, and of course, the outline is always like to share with you guys. Amen. Now, the author of Ezekiel, my friends, look look at that. The prophet Ezekiel himself. uh, No one else could be so intimately informed of his actions and intentions and the date now he says here the generally accepted time frame in which the book was written is 595 to 572 bc and the work contains more dates than any other old testament prophetic book and the times of the prophets are accurately described and that is in that first part there all right let's go on to the major theme of ezekiel here now god's direction of events in heaven and on earth is revelation of knowledge to all the nations is another predominant theme running throughout this or throughout the book he is the judge But he is equally desirous to be gracious and merciful, friends. All right, the background. Again, I'm having 
issues. Oh, there it is. That's no wonder. Um, I thought I, <laughs> I told you it's always one thing or the other. I was uh, my cross. I usually have my cross out, and uh, it was I had forgotten that I put it behind me, uh, so I could wire up my microphones. Uh, as you guys know, I got the two lab mics. So, uh, <laughs> and I just it just dawned on me. I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't move the cross back around. That's what was uh, getting me in the on the top here. So, anyhow, we move on, right? So it's all set. All right. So again, uh, I believe we were at the background of Ezekiel. Now, the holy prophet uh, Ezekiel, and, and again, my notes here, is commemorated on July 23rd, uh, whose name God strengthens, was of the tribe of Levi. Amen. He was therefore both priest and prophet, and he was married. He grew up during the reign of King Josiah of Judah, of Judah, 640 to 609 BC, but his prophetic mystery, <laughs> ministry, not min, not mystery. There it is. All right, uh, spanned again notes uh, for the years of 595 to 575 BC. More than any other prophet. Now, Ezekiel was called by God, here, friends, to involve himself personally in the divine word by acting it out in prophetic symbolism, uh, as he was quite the prophet. Now, he was a contemporary of the prophets Jeremiah and Daniel, uh, all right, so there you go. You got a little bit of background knowledge uh, of Ezekiel, friends. If you hadn't gotten a chance to study that or look at that prior, there you go. All right, uh, let's pull that up. And let's see. We want that Bible over here. We want this Bible over here. Whew. Okay, it's fun. It's it's. I'm glad that I get an opportunity to do this. Like I said, Good or bad, I you know I fight through it, and uh, it keeps me motivated. It keeps me uh, in uh, in my position of what God has called me to. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it gives me direction. It gives me hope, encouragement, uh, and friends. I hope in an example to the flock as a shepherd. Um, you know, and I know others out there. I know that, that we're in, you know, we are called to share this word, to share the gospel and, uh, and ex examples to the flock. We gotta, you know, we gotta practice what we preach, right? We gotta share what we know. Uh, and, uh, you know, hope you guys, I uh, hope you guys, uh, get something out of this, you know? Uh, and not to worry about what the problems I'm having. Um, uh, amen. All right. And I, I figured out what's happening in my, my other HP on channel three. My soundboard is going out. That's why it's not, uh, it's not working as well. Uh, the sound driver, the sound card is, uh, and the, the part there where it goes into is actually broke out. So, um, <laughs> keep praying. Uh, friends, I keep praying. All right. So anyway, I get some rambling, babbling time in there, and uh, you know, like I said, as uh, as as called out shepherds, um, you know, we 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 got to press in, we got to dig in, we got to keep moving on, and no matter what, uh, amen. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm working on my mic here. But, uh, you know, we got to keep pressing in. That's the point. That's that's the whole uh, encouragement uh, that I want to share with you guys. Uh, and, again, I appreciate you guys um, with the support, with the uh, prayers, uh, and, of course, of all things, with your patience on uh, here. Uh, just trying to do the best I can, trying to uh, do what God has called me to do. So I, I'm... I'm moving, friends. We are moving forward. Amen. All right. So we've got, friends, we just read uh, Lamentations 5. 
we're going to look at Ezekiel 1 and 2. So let's read that, shall we? Uh, Amen. Um, Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Shabar, that the heavens were open, and I saw visions of God uh, in the fifth day of the month, which I was the fifth year of the king, or let's see, which I believe in our eye. It is I. All right. Uh, the fifth year of the king, Jehoiakim, right? Amen. Uh, of Jehoiakim's captivity. Now, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Shebar. And on the hand of the Lord was upon him, friends. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire unfolding itself, and brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber and out of the midst of the fire. And there you go. All right. Uh, We are reading Ezekiel 1 and 2 for our opening scripture here. And uh, bear with me again. All right. And we're going to look at verse 5 here in Ezekiel 1 here. Now also out of the midst there came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their first, or was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Again, we saw this, friends. We saw this, these pictures, not pictures, but uh, not only pictures, but we saw these idols put up. Uh, If you go back last year and look at the news part and look at the uh, situation there, we saw this. We saw things being replaced uh, seemingly overnight, but... They, it was already planned out. So watch this. This is a, uh, really interesting to me. So he says in verse 5 in Ezekiel 1, Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. Now watch this, friends. Uh, they had the likeness of a man in verse 6, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet was straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of uh, a burnished brass. And they had the hands of a man under their wings, or under their wings, on their four sides. And the four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went every one straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they had the face of a man. And, and, and... (laughs) Uh, microphone, my other microphone drop. Uh, anyway, let's go on. Uh, in the next verse here in 10, they had the face of a lion. And on the right side, and their four had the face of an ox. On the left side, they, they four also had their face of an eagle. I'm just saying, friends. Pretty interesting, right? Pretty interesting, um, uh, you know, as we clearly see this, you know, we see these uh, things going up. We see that. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it, it's all biblical. It's all in the, uh, it, it here as I'm reading, uh, amen, it's all in Ezekiel 1, you know, Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel. So let's keep going. Let's check this out again. 
Uh, amen. Let's look at again verse 14. Um, let's see. Or 13. So as uh, they're showing the description here. As for the likeness of the living creature, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. Um, hang on here. I, I knew I did it. Let's let's backtrack just a little bit here, friends, to verse 11. So thus there were their faces, and their wings were stretched upward, two wings of every one were joined uh, to another, and two covered their bodies. And then go to 12 and 13 again here. And they went out, uh, they went everyone straight forward. Whether the spirit was to go, they went, and they turned not to where they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down, among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. Uh, and the living creature ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. And or he says, now in 15, now I beheld uh, the living creatures behind, or behold one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel or burl, and their four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Man. I tell you, that's uh, quite descriptive there. All right, give me a second. And as I try, as I tried to fix one spot, I actually made it didn't help it. So, uh, Amen. All right, so we got. Uh, let's see the wheel. So in verse seventeen, friends, let's look at that now. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not where they went, or when they went. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And the rings, uh, <laughs> let's see, the rings were full of eyes round about them four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them, and when the uh, living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Uh, thither was their spirit to go, uh, and the wheels were lifted up against over them. Let's see, over against them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. When those went, these went. And when those stood, they stood. And when uh, those were lifted up from the earth. The wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. All right. In verse 22, And the likeness of the firmament upon their heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal, stretched forth, over their heads above, and under the firmament were their wings straight, the one toward the other. Every one had two, which covered on this side, and every one had two, which covered on that side, their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, and the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads. Uh, when they stood and had let down their wings, and again, uh, <laughs> man, all right, uh, let's see what we can do here. That's uh, not something's. 
always a battle with my microphone. I don't know what it is or why why it's doing that, but uh, anyway, let's move on and keep going forward here, friends. That's the whole key. We got to keep pressing in and keep uh, just moving forward, right? Amen, friends. All righty, so let's go to 26, I believe is where we're at here. Uh, above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as uh, the appearance of sapphire stone or a sapphire stone and upon the likeness of the throne, which, uh, let's see, was the likeness as an appearance of a man, uh, let's see, above upon it. Now in verse 27, and I saw the color of amber and the appearance five roundabout within it from the appearance of his loins, even upward, and from the appearance uh, of his loins, even downward. I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about, as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about, and this was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell down on my face, or fell down upon my face, and I had heard a voice, uh, one that spake. And there you go, friends. First part of Ezekiel. Let's go to the second one. Amen. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto you, or unto thee. When the Spirit, or and the Spirit, entered into me, then he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake uh, unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the uh, children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They had or they and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this day, friends. Wow. Um, amen. All right. Uh, for they are an impudent children and stiff-hearted. Uh, I do send, or let's see, send thee unto them. And let's grab that real quick here. All right. And thou shalt... Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, or a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, Neither be afraid of their words, their briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks. And though they be a rebellious house, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. Uh, and thou, son of man, hear that I say unto thee, Be not rebellious, like the rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give there or thee. And we are in Ezekiel 1 and 2, jumping on over to chapter 2 in the book of Ezekiel at uh, about verse 8 here. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And when I look, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll uh, of a book was therein. Uh, amen. And he spread it before me and was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. All right. Well, I'll work on this and I will probably continue 
uh, the book of Ezekiel here. There's a lot to uh, kind of unpack, a lot to understand, a lot to read. So I'll probably try to break this down uh, maybe before we go into the book of Daniel. That might be the next uh, podcast topic there. Uh, amen. And so uh, because uh, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot of uh, the book of Ezekiel here to unpack about 40 eight chapters so we'll uh we'll probably check that out next i'll probably try to bring in uh two and you know each uh each uh podcast there all right let's uh close out there you go tin can what do you know uh already already got that part out there so tin can anchor cast box you guys are already in your first hour we're going on to our second hour here friends Finally got the technical problems out of the way. Had a lot of problems. That that first 30 minutes, I tell you, friends, uh, really, really is a, a patient game changer there. If you don't have the patience. Uh, all right. So anyway, let's see. So I think we got that taken care of. And I think, uh, what do we got? Three to four next so can you believe that already friends we're already at an hour our first hour here mercy Mm -mm -mm. i tell you devil's uh nope not on my watch that's all i gotta say about that right all right so let's get this together here we're gonna do three and four tomorrow and i'll work on this uh, tonight, get uh, that kind of straightened out, but we're going to kind of continue here. Uh, amen. All right. All right. So there you go. Next podcast, we are going to open up with Ezekiel 3 and 4. We're kind of continuing on there. Uh, now, the, the question is do I keep moving? Uh, on this, amen. Um, because otherwise, I gotta reset tin can all over again. Uh, I think we got their first hour here, but we're just gonna go into uh, some scripture notes here and uh, keep rolling. Amen. Sunday night church service, my friends. Welcome, good to see you guys. Hopefully get all the issues out of the way and, uh, well, we're just going to keep pressing in. Because that's what I got to do, my friends. I do, I do. All right, let's go. Where are we going? I want to know because inquiring minds need to know where we're going. Uh, Amen. So let me get that out of the way. X. Taking a pause for a second here. Let me get to my next scripture. And I think we're going to go into our podcast notes, friends. So if you got them handy uh, close by you here, uh, I believe that's what we're going to do here. (coughs) Oh, man. All right, let's go to our podcast notes, friends, if you will, if you dare. I dare you to. Come on, let's get to our podcast notes here, friends. We're going to take the uh, take a look at the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Uh, amen. Now, wherever you're at, are you standing by, friends? Do you have your podcast notes with you? I hope so. Uh, it is good to be here. Good to see you, friends. We're at our second hour. You're live on the air. I uh, always appreciate you guys. What a blessing. Uh, come on in. We're moving forward. We're pressing in. We're digging into the word, my friends. And uh, I think we're going to check out the uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Get a hold of me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. The official email of the ministry channel here. Uh, friends, you're live. You're here. You're in Studio A. The church is on. The church is open. The doors are open. Uh, Pastor Rick Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, 
back on Restream TV. And uh, like I said, we're, top of the hour, we're going to be back on there tomorrow night, or tonight, actually. We're going into Monday. Can you believe that? Is it Monday already? I need to get some sleep. Um, <laughs> and, nah, I'm just kidding. Sleep, what's that? Anyway, welcome. Good to see you, my friends, my precious friends. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. Amen. All right. Uh, let that roll. And, of course, my precious friend in, in Japan, Tokyo, came in. Domo arigato, uh, my precious, wonderful friend. And thank you guys for your patience here, for tuning in. So, uh, wherever you're at, except for your, if you're driving, now pull over and get to a safe spot, friends. We're going to say the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Can we do that? Can we get uh, the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation here? My friends, all right. Now, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Amen. Now, please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, friends, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, church. Amen? All right. To live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' precious name, we pray, friends, right now. Amen and amen. Whew. That's a burden lifter, right? That's a burden lifter, my friends, because his grace is too heavy. Got to melt you down every time you say it, friends. Get a hold of me. Hit that email. I appreciate you guys. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll email you. I, we'll, we'll chat. You know, we'll have some coffee, have some cookies. We'll we'll chat about it, right? All right, come on, let's keep going, friends. We're going to get into our NLT recap series. I'm going to do that, and we got the Orthodox recap study, the Orthodox uh, study Bible archive series, as I always like to share. And we're going to continue with the Serenity Prayer, friends. Let's go ahead and share that right now. Amen. Now. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world. Uh, as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right. And again, here's the key word here, friends. If I surrender to his will, friends, eh? <clears throat> amen, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. And, you know, again, we talk about that New Jerusalem uh, in uh, Revelation, uh, I believe about uh, chapter 20. So <clears throat> check that out. <clears throat> hey, man, boy, that, that line always gets me choked up. Every time I read that, I get just emotional and I get just choked up on that. <sighs> hey, man. All right, let me compose myself. I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, man. All right, let's move on, my friends. And again, uh, got the cords wrapped up around the, you know, kind of in the back there. So I had to run another cable line um, um, up underneath and over my shirt. So it wasn't tri it wasn't tripping up. I keep forgetting it's still there, and I have to kind of adjust it every once in a while. All right, how about the serenity prayer? Unless we, oh no, we already did that, didn't we? All right, how about, uh, 
how about we move on to the Lord's Prayer, friends? How about we do that? All right, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Friends, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen and amen. All right, let's so go ahead and boot up and suit up. Put that armor on, friends, every single day, as many times as you need. It's okay, right? All right. Um, okay. Uh, now, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Again, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. All right, um, let's see what we got. All right, let's go back to that one. And that'll be our opener for tomorrow, for tonight. I keep thinking we're like, no, we're uh, we're Monday morning already, friends. Can you believe that? The 19th? Wow. Um, amen. All right, I think we got that taken care of. I always appreciate you guys jumping online with me. What a what a blessing it is, friends. Uh, really, uh, you know that's uh, again as I always say. I always mention this every podcast. Uh, you guys are the motivation that I keep pushing through this. Because uh, I hope something helps. I hope you guys get something or pick up something or you know some verse or scripture that I say or share. Uh, you know, I really do. And, uh, you know, apologies, like I said, apologies about all the problems and issues I've been, uh, been having here, um, with the channel. Um, you know, and, uh, again, like I said, um, it's, uh, it has been a difficult journey. Definitely it has been a difficult kind of situation trying to set all this up. Uh, but I, I just, you know, I got to do what God called me to do regardless of other people's opinions or thoughts. I got to keep pressing in. Uh, and and again, I tell you, friends, uh, you guys that do this, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you really feel like quitting and throwing in the towel. But I, I've learned over my time that um, that's what the devil wants. So we got to use some reverse psychology on the devil. Do the opposite of what he says. Friends, right? When we when when we think about throwing in the towel and quitting, we got to do the opposite and just keep digging in, dig our heels in to the Word of God, and uh, give it over to God. Just surrender it uh, and let Jesus take the wheel. As I always like to share with you, uh, you know, and that's that's what we got to do, friends. We got to really just keep pressing in and digging in, no matter what, and it's. Like I said, you know, good or bad here, this is what I'm doing here, uh, good or bad, this uh, has been the lesson that I've learned. It, it don't matter what obstacles or what things hit us or what, uh, you know, what, what the elements are that, that attack us, because we know that source is from the devil, friends. He's, you know, the enemy. He always tries to do what he can. And uh, so anyway, uh 
you know, I hope, I hope something, uh, I hope, you know, that something uh, reaches your heart. I hope such uh, something, uh, you know, you get something out of this. So I'm going to be here. I told the devil, you better pack up and get to the back of the line, pal, because uh, I'm pressing in. I got my coffee, my extra cup of coffee and a backup coffee on top of that. I got the word of God, in my Bible. I, you know, I, I told him, take your minions and, and keep going, pal, because there ain't nothing to see here, uh, friends, anyway, <laughs> you know, uh, even though, like I said, I, you know, I have problems and issues and technical problems and, you know, as you guys have seen with, with the podcast here, always adjusting something, always having some issues, but at the end of the day, we got to trust God, friends, every day. Put our armor on. Trust God. Just keep moving forward and don't give up. Don't, you know, don't listen to that pesky voice, friends. So anyway, I get my rabbling time in here, friends. You know that. All right. So here you go. NLT recap series. Let's do it. Let's get to it, friends. Um, amen. And there went my pen. Off into yonder. Down that way. But I've got a backup for a backup, my friends. I do. I've got a, a whole box of pens sitting right off the side here. So, anyway, hope you got your notes with you, friends. Uh, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, coffee. Uh, we're going to keep moving, keep going forward here. And give me a minute. My chair just fell. Uh, that's not good. Hang on. All right. I knew it. My chair is breaking. It's uh, it's not doing so well. It keeps dropping down. I've already tightened it up and did everything I could. But uh, we'll figure something out. Amen. So if I disappear, I'll jump back up here and keep going. Anyhow, I... If you got your notebook tablets with you, my friends, we're going to check this out. Uh, be open to God's leading here, friends, in the NLT recap series. Again, we're going to go into Acts 8. Uh, let's see, we got Acts 8, chapter 4 through 8, 26 through 38. So we're just going to read uh, the whole thing of Acts uh, on chapter 8. That's going to be our Bible study there. And so the topic... Again, friends, if you want to write this down and write some bullet points down here on this church, uh, it's going to be, uh, with the intro, you got one through four. And I'll give you some of the notes and the highlights from this. So let's check it out. Recap series, friends. Let's keep going. Let's keep blasting the devil. Uh, amen. Because he's got no authority here, friends. Not in this house, right? Not in the church. All right. Let the church say amen and hallelujah. All right, uh, be open to God's leading here, friends. Let's go ahead and read that. Uh, and if you don't have one of these, let me know. I'll get you one out. All right, so this text shows two forms of evangelism to the beginning of this passage. We see Philip, as we know, uh, engaged in mass evangelism. Uh, that's going to be over in 848. Now, toward the end, end of the chapter, we see Philip uh, taking part in personal uh, evangelism, as he says here. And uh, let's see, some one-on-one -on -one evangelism, friends, with the Ethiopian, and that's going to, uh, Ethiopian, that's going to be over in chapter 8, 26 through 38. So the text also gives us three principles to follow for effective evangelism. And again, one through four here. One, Philip was led by God's Spirit, friends. Now, uh, in this principle, or this principle 879 again, uh, to make all the difference in sharing one's faith, this leading will often come Let's see, often come in the form of an impression or a burden, such as a compelling desire to talk to somebody or someone about your faith, right? 
Uh, and, that, and that's over in Acts 17, 16 through 31. So Philip, we, or like Philip here says, now we should simply be open and available to what God would have us to do. Amen, friends. Good lesson there. Good, good part there. Now, two, Philip obeyed God's leading, and Philip did exactly what uh, what the Lord told him to do without delay. In eight twenty seven, as we are going to read here in a bit. Now, Jesus said, "My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me." Friends, Amen. Uh, John ten twenty seven. So went God. Or when God said, um, go, Philip went, right? He he obeyed what God told him to do. And this is, you know, basically the bottom line of what I why I'm doing a podcast. Uh, God said, preach. <laughs> so, you know, uh, just be obedient to what God has said, uh, friends, and, and what he's called, you know, what many of us are called to do. Amen. So, as we see, that's in, uh, I believe, John 10, 27. So, when God said go, Philip went. Amen. He answered that call. Now, likewise, we need to be on duty, friends. Church, right there, brothers and sisters. We need to be on duty uh, at all times and ready to preach the word of God. 2 Timothy 4, 2 for that. Amen. So that was two, I believe. Or did, we, did we jump? Man. Um, all right. So the second one was Philip obeyed God's leading. Amen. Now let's jump down to three. Philip knew scripture. So Philip uh, used the scripture this man was reading as a starting point. Then he used a number of other passages to tell the Ethiopian about Jesus. That's 835. And knowing God's word is essential for any person who wants to lead others to Jesus Christ. Arguments will not have nearly the impact of God's word. Uh, Let's see that God's word will when we share our faith with others. All right, now, the same God who led Philip uh, in his evangelistic work also wants to direct your steps, friends. Amen, he does. So, uh, you might start each day with a prayer like the prophet Isaiah. Here I am, send me. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's that's what I said, Uh, you know. He says, here I am. Send me. Uh, Isaiah 6 8. Now, remember, God is not looking so much for a person's ability as his or her availability, friends. Now, God is not looking for strong people to be his witness or witnesses so much as he is looking for people through whom he can show his strength. Amen. That's good stuff, right? That's a good message there. Uh, All right. So, there you go, friends. Be open to God's leading, friends. Now, let's go into uh, Acts. And I believe that's going to be chapter 8. I can't believe still. Yep, it's down that way. Oh, oh, that's what fell. Hang on. (laughs) Oh. That didn't help. My support board, uh, friends, hang on here. Um, I have a support board down here. And that's what fell. Uh, I knew something had dropped. Sorry about that. Uh, I have a support board, like I said, and I just knocked my microphone all out of place here, all out of sorts. Um, Bear with me, having more problems here. Give me a second. Interesting. Um, I lost my little spot there for my phone. Uh, anyway, um, I have a support beam for my microphone. I had to put one directly under here because I redid my entire uh, setup here. And uh, so I've got a support board uh, 
that I didn't get a chance to finish nailing in or, you know, I'm going to put a drill through it and actually set that up that way to make it stronger. But I have to have a support board uh, to extend my microphone out because there's not enough room. I'm, I'm kind of pinned between my office here and the de- on the desk here in the office uh, and studio. And uh, there's just not enough room. I'm, I'm kind of feeling trapped a little bit, but anyway, so I kind of expanded out on the desk. Uh, I have a support arm basically, and um, I had to put like a little support board under it, and that's what dropped in the middle of the podcast. I I thought I heard something, and uh, it it was that board, that support board. So uh, anyway, let me. Let me get this clipped up here. Completely forgot to clip up my microphone here. Uh, anyway, so that's what dropped. And if you guys heard that in the background there uh, earlier, that's what happened. Um, let's see. Uh, so uh, there was a, a support board that dropped out. So that's what the problem was here earlier. Anyway, um, so I had to, you know, readjust a couple of things here and get all this stuff together here. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, got that pulled up, and I think we're okay. We're going to try to do this. All right. Well, all right. So be open to God's leading. That is a good part there. So we're going to go into Acts 8 on the second hour here. You're live on the air, my friends. We're going to keep moving forward we're going to keep digging in no matter what um like i said having lots of issues with this podcast tonight uh as we started out about 11 and then we got hit with a cyclone of problems friends so uh and that took the first i think the first 25 minutes of the podcast up friends and nothing i could do about it had issue after issue uh camera and again just fast forward as a note, as a reminder, fast forward through that first 20 minutes, friends. Uh, it was bad. All right. So anyway, we're going to keep moving forward. That's the lesson of the podcast here, friends. Keep pressing in. Keep digging in. Keep moving forward. Let's get to our Bible, shall we? All right. Uh, let's see. So we got Acts chapter 8 here, friends. We're, that's we're going to be our next Bible study. Let's go ahead and look at that now. And let's go ahead and read that together, friends, if you happen to have your Bibles out with you. Amen. So, again, Acts chapter 8. And Saul was consenting unto his death, and at that time there was a great uh, persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except... uh, the apostles uh, and devout men carried Stephen to his burial and, and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house and hauling men and women, committed them to prison. Now, therefore, they were scattered abroad, went everywhere while preaching the word. And the, let's see, let's go backtrack to verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord heed, or gave heed, unto these things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. The, uh, let's see, for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies. And there were lame were healed, and or and that were lame were healed, and there was a great joy in the city. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the si- uh, in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, and giving out that himself was some great one. Now, it says in verse 10, to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, 
saying this man is the great power of God. And to him they had regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God here, uh, and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, or unto them Peter and John, who, uh, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord, uh, as he says here, the Lord Jesus. Amen. Then laid they their hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me all this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, uh, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this manner, for there, thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness, and pray God, and perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me that none of these things, while or which ye have spoken, come upon me. Uh, and they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages and Samaritans, or other Samaritans. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And they arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, uh, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, uh, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, uh, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Esaias the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. <coughs> Amen. All right. Make sure that's set and reset there. Then the Spirit said, again in verse 29 here, friends, uh, then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And uh, as we see here, friends, and again with the mic, uh, eventually. Sometime, my friends. All right, anyway. Um, let's see. Yeah, because I know it picks up okay, but let's let's continue here, friends. So he was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near again, uh, and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and say, or said, Understanding thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Now the place of the scripture, as we are seeing, which he read was this. 
He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb, uh, a lamb dumb before her shearers, uh, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. Who shall or who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of whom or some other man? When Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture, uh, he preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. Uh, And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? Uh, And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of Man. Amen, right? All right. Uh, Okay. Now, and the command, oops, hang on here. And the command, where it is, where it is, that's what I want to know. Um, let's see, got two spots here. All right, um, let's see. Okay. Get that spot taken care of real quick here. Not too much on this one. This is fairly close, but I got a couple of spots that I missed. So. As we look at it, friends, he told the the eunuch here uh, and said, I believe. Now, the eunuch said, I believe, uh, amen, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So, as we see again in verse 38 here in Acts 8, and let's see, he said, And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water. Uh, But Philip, the eunuch, and he baptized him. So, and when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. And the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found in Azotus in pressing, as my phone just went out. Hang on here, friends. Uh, amen. I knocked my power cord out. There it is. All right. Um, let's see. Let's uh, charge up. So, uh, in, a, in part four, chapter, <laughs> verse 40, but Philip was found in Azotus and passing through he preached in all the cities till he came to uh, Caesarea. So as he said here, friends, as we go back to 37, it was a really, uh, really good part there. I kind of skipped past that. I didn't mean to, but uh, I knocked my power cord out of my other phone here for my monitor. So uh, again, let's go to verse 37, chapter 8 in the book of Acts here, friends. Uh, amen. So, Let's see, where was that? Um, Let's see. So, yeah, 37. Actually, let's go back to 37 here. And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of Man. So, there you go. Amen. What a good scripture that is. All right, uh, let's see. We are bouncing on over to our monitor here, so give me a second. Um, so, you know, like I said earlier, uh, I have a stand underneath there on my mic. It's going into our mixer, and that dropped out. That was a piece of wood that I have uh, just setting there for us, uh, you know, to try to balance that out. And that's what happened. So if you guys hear that on the microphone, if you hear that in the playback there, that's what happened. That's what it was. Um, amen. So that's what it was. Amen. Having all kinds of problems, but hell yeah. 
All right. Well, you made it that far. Good to see you guys. Like I said, appreciate you guys. And uh, thank you guys for your support and your prayers and your patience. A little different. I know you're kind of dialing in, tuning in, going, what's what's this uh, thing about? What's this podcast about? Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me and, you know, I'll spend a little bit of time here as I try to just share the Bible with you. Uh, amen. And uh, I kind of go about uh, trying to fix some of this stuff here. I uh, hope it makes sense. Uh, you know, uh, amen. All right. Anyway. Uh, all right. Good enough for now. Let's go on to the next chapter, friend. Let's go on to the next study here. We got Acts chapter 8. That was always good. Uh, the eunuch. Uh, amen. And uh, let's see. And who do we have in there? That is Philip. All right. Philip preached to the eunuch. All right, so let's go on to the next scripture here, church. Let's go ahead and check that out. Amen. All right, um, let's see. Do, do, do. All right. Okay, got it. Uh, amen. All right, so we're going to go there. Oops, let's see what that right. Amen. All right, good enough. That'll work. Let's go to the next part here, friends. If you will, go on over to Isaiah 53. I think we're going to do Isaiah 53 right now. Amen. Still have a problem with my chair. Give me a minute. It just dropped again. And, um, you know, I don't know, friends. Give me a minute. All right. My chair is broken. I know. It's like a sad song there. Um, <laughs> I've been having problems all night long. I almost gave up and just kind of uh, shut her down. I just had a couple of emails going, why don't you just close it off and go to bed? Why? Why make it easier on the devil, right? That's just one less preacher on the air. Uh, amen. You know, no matter what. Uh, that's what the devil wants. We're not playing his game, friends. We're not going to fall into that trick, right? Into that, into that trap of the devil. Uh, and, and you guys know, uh, every podcast about, I always have something going on, some kind of challenge here. But, uh, as I tell the devil, like I said, keep moving, keep moving, take your minions, take your coffee. It's cold. You better go get a refill back, back that way, back yonder. Uh, cause you're not getting me. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to just give up and, uh, you know, take a powder. Cause that's what the devil wants. My friends tell you, that's what the devil wants. He wants us to quit and give up, uh, friends. He wants our attention on our situation, uh, on our, uh, you know, the problems, right? He don't want us focused on God you know, or positivity or, you know, anything positive. He wants our focus on our situations. Not today and not, what is it? Uh, not now, not today, not tomorrow, not tonight. Something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about here. Uh, <laughs> that's why I just keep pushing forward. I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Uh, you know, I'll work around things. And, and like I said, all kinds of problems tonight. This podcast was not the way I planned it, friends. Trust me, I, it's, I usually have, you know, like I said, I always, I, I always have things tested out prior to the podcast, uh, whether it's hour days or you know after each podcast, I go back and I reset everything. But it never seems to fail. Every single time, I always have some kind of issue. Like there's this, it never. <laughs> It's not surprising. You know, like I said, the enemy comes in there uh, to attack. And uh, so that's that's what he's been doing uh, with, uh, you know, with with us. He, he just tries to take our attention and focus away, uh, away from God as we dig in and press in closer to God. 
he tries to just throw in all that mess. So, I, you know, I, we just keep digging in, right? We keep pressing in and uh, amen. And using a little cotton tape there to fix up the the, uh, the issues there, right? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see. We got that. Um, so I'm just kind of rabbling here a little bit. I wanted to get uh, Isaiah 52 taken care of because I didn't get a chance to get a couple of verses there. But we're going to look at Isaiah 53, friends. Uh, amen. So, <laughs> man. Oh, boy, I tell you, friends, it is always something. And just every day, every every podcast is like a little bit of a challenge. But, like I said, uh, that's, uh, that's the least of the problems, right? Amen. All right, give me a second. I wanted to get a couple of these out of the way. Amen. All right, not too much. There was just a couple of spots that I missed in 52, but we are going to look at 53, friends. Let's do that right now. And uh, let's see, maybe 52. I don't know. Um. Hang on here. Let me let me take a look at this. Let me see what the spirit is saying on this one. Do, 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 do. Maybe we'll do 52 and 53, friends. How about that? How about we just go ahead and read 52, 53 in the book of Isaiah, right? That's what we want to go is the book of Isaiah as the eunuch was reading. So let's check this out, friends. And I'll go ahead and go back over the notes later. So as we saw, you know, as we see in 52, he says, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall be no more, or there shall no more come in to thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Again, with this microphone angle. Amen. All right. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and we shall be redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there. And as the Assyrian opposed them, Without causing, now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught, that they rule over them and make them to house as the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Again, examples of what we see today. You know, uh, people want to mock God, they want to mock Christians. Uh, they want to attack and, and, and imprison pastors and Christians all together, but you know we gotta we gotta stand fast, friends, uh, and just not not be wavered. But as he says here, uh, and my name continually every day is blaspheme, and that's in Isaiah twenty five at about verse uh, what is it uh, verse five there, right? We're clearly seeing that. Now, therefore, my people shall know my name, and therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. Now, how beautiful on the, uh, upon the mountains, of, uh, mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace, or publish F, peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth, friends. We've got we to say that, friends. My God reigneth. Amen. All right, bear with me. We're going to go check. Uh, let's see if I can get to uh, the notes here. And again, thank you guys for your patience and support here. I really, truly appreciate that. Uh, amen. Um, again, trying to do the best I can. Amen. All right. 
Just checking out a couple of spots here real quick. I want to make sure that uh, everything is good. Um, amen. All right. Uh, looks good to that. And again, thank you guys for your patience. Now, don't forget verbal friends. I'm on there. I've been on there for quite a while. I update these podcasts every day. Rumble TV. Uh, Gatter uh, is doing well. Uh, Instagram, all the channels. And again, I have um, officially uh, deleted my TikTok account. The ministry channel is not there. I just uh, thought it was time to uh, break it down and get off of there and uh, kind of move on. And so, um, uh, yeah, so I, I deleted that channel. You guys can, you know, I like I said, I made an announcement on there and I did a, a little bit of update there. And uh, so you guys that are from TikTok that's moved over to the other channels, thank you guys. And uh, welcome to uh, the ministry channel here at, uh, of course, now broadcast live on Restream TV. But of course, the YouTube channel, uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network there at YouTube, the official uh, YouTube ministry channel. Uh, appreciate you guys subscribing and uh, viewing all the podcasts there and don't forget we got twitch tv ministry podcast live there and of course twitter all the other channels are still there just the one tiktok channel uh i dissolved it so we moved on and kept going right all right so again uh as he was saying in uh 52 i believe out about verse 5 he says in my name continually Every day is blasphemed. Now, therefore, my people shall know my name, and therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that uh, doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that uh, publisheth peace, and bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth, church. Amen. Amen, amen. All right, let's go back over here. Now, in verse 8, Thy watchmen shall lift up thy voice, with the voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye, when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Bring or break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and hath redeemed Jerusalem. All right. Um, let's see. Let's fix that spot real quick while we're here. Kind of hanging out in that book. Uh, amen. And uh, Yeah, like I said, friends, every time I try to, it looks like I try to fix stuff. It just kind of doesn't help. It doesn't work. So that's the problem I'm having. Uh, trying to update here. Not changing nothing out, just um, trying to, like I said, just trying to, uh, you know, correct some of the spots that I missed. So that takes care of that. So let's uh, just uh, hang on here just a minute. And let's see. Not too much. There's just a couple of spots that I missed. Uh, I really needed to try to correct that out. So, Amen. all right, good enough. So let's move on and again break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord had comforted His people and hath redeemed Jerusalem, as we saw in uh, verse nine. So let's go to ten. The Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all nations and the ends of the earth shall see the uh, salvation of our God, friends. Now depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from hence, touch no unclean thing, and go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be re your re uh, your re reward. 
And behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. And uh, see, it's in 14, as many were stoned at thee, his visage or visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. And so shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at him, for that he which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. And let's go on to Isaiah 53. Amen. What a great scripture that is. Um, Hey, man, we're going to fix that on my paper here. So bear with me again. We're going to leave all the information on there, but I'm going to change that out just uh, because um, I added 52 in there. And I definitely want to make sure that that is included. So reheat your coffee. Give me just a minute or two here, folks. Let me go ahead and try to change some of this information on my uh, on my file here, so I know kind of where I was at. Uh, amen. And uh, amen. All right, fifty-two and fifty-three. That's going to be uh, this part here. Yeah, and it's not going to be that bad to to correct because it's kind of all right here in the same spot. So bear with me, guys. Amen. All right, so we are at uh, Isaiah 53, friends. I really like the scripture. Really, just so much in it. Uh, amen. Okay, we got it. Good enough. We'll leave it at that. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to update my, uh, you know, my schedule here, my file there. So I got it. So let's read Isaiah 53, friends. And again, over the two-hour mark, we made it. Well, that first 30 minutes didn't really count. The 25 minutes, I was cleaning off the mic, you know, the camera here, and things dropping and falling in the studio. My chair breaks. You know, my chair's breaking down. Fell down a couple of times. Um, so, you know, and problem with my microphone and the headset and, uh, that devil's got to try harder than that, friends. Come on now. He had to know me better by that, but you know, by now, uh, <laughs> and the glasses, my glasses were, you know, something was going on. I grabbed the wrong pair, uh, as I've got about five pair. Actually, what I'm going to do is put them away from the desk. Uh, so I can actually just have the right, correct ones every time. So anyway, that's what happened in the first 30 minutes. Just fast forward, just TiVo it, friends, or something. Just skip it, skip along. Just, <laughs> it was bad. It was a bad start to the podcast. And as I kind of thought about it, should I just quit? Re you know, like I said, I kind of mentioned this a couple of times, but I thought about just stopping where I was having the problems, deleted it out, and, uh, you know, it would take me half an hour to reset everything. But uh, it's not in the plans, friends. Give or, you know, give or take the bad with the good. I try. I'm doing the best I can here. Um, and, and again, just, you know, a crazy first start, crazy first half an hour of the podcast, trying to get everything uh fixed and i thought it was distortion or a bad camera it's not the camera there's there's just something going on and it looked all fuzzy and out of, out of uh sorts there so i don't know i'm gonna have to go back and look at settings for restream because i'll be back on restream tonight my friends about 10 30 11 o'clock well again it uh, depends on what happens and what's going on but uh i should be back on tonight we're gonna hit uh restream tv again so we're gonna see uh, the, the test we will see, right? All right, so let's continue. We got Isaiah 53. All right, let's keep reading, friends. A little over two hours. You're here live on the air, Pastor Rick, uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, friends. Now, Monday morning, uh, a little after one twenty. Uh, we started this yesterday. This is late last night, 11 o'clock for a service. Uh, already updated the other three channels. Uh, 
three or four, I, I lose track sometimes, but the other three uh, did updates. And so this will, this one that we're finishing up here this Monday morning is our, uh, the forest service for me tonight, uh, this morning. <laughs> I, like I said, if it wasn't for a calendar and stuff on my computers, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd just be losing days here. Uh, anyway, so let's keep going. We got Isaiah 53. Who, he says, who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root, he says, out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire uh, him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquaintance with grief, or acquainted with grief. Uh, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs, church. And carried our sorrows. Uh, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Right? That's, the, that's the, one of the things there. He was afflicted. All right. Let's see if I can correct that spot. All right. Uh, um, so... All right, let's continue. We got verse 5 here in Isaiah, friends. Amen. So, as he was saying, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bare, uh, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our seat, uh, our peace, not our seats. Amen. Our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. And we're going to claim that, church. We're going to receive it right now. Amen. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him uh, the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Again, uh, Philip and the eunuch friends. If you look at that, and the uh, let's see, we're going to look at that Acts chapter eight. So, man, all right. Uh, let's see, one through forty, my friends. All right, just getting a couple of extra notes there, and I want to make sure I've got all this down here. Forgot to do that earlier. There you go. So as he was reading this part, now this was what the eunuch was reading, uh, as he said, uh, as he, he got to verse, uh, where we at, about verse 7, uh, as the eunuch was reading, uh, he said, out of uh, the book of Isaiah, uh, he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. So let's move on and go to eight. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence, friends, at all. Uh, amen. Give me a second. Yeah, let me kind of maneuver up there. Double check to make sure my channel 3 is working. Amen. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Try to maneuver my mixer a little bit closer to me anyway. Uh, amen. All right. That's good. Good solid there. All right. Uh, double check it on that mixer part. Grab some fresh coffee, my friends. We got to do that. Amen. All right. All right. Let's keep going here. So, again, we're in Isaiah 53 here, friends. 
So, uh, let's see. So, let's go to 8. Now, he was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken, and he made his grave with the wicked. And the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief, and thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed, and prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul. And shall be satisfied by his knowledge, shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. And therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and shall divide the spoil uh, with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And mm -mm, mercy. All right, uh, let's see if we can do something here. Uh, now, and he, as we continue, he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Amen. Well, there you go, my friends. Uh, interesting, but uh, very cool. Very good. I love that scripture, too. Um, and I got that by special request, too, as I was going through my emails uh, today. Kind of popped in the uh, inbox there and said, hey, why don't you go back over Isaiah 53? I want to hear that again. So, uh, as he said, Pastor, why don't you go ahead and read that again? We we need to hear that word. So, there it is, friends. There, there you go. By uh, email special request. Uh, now, I again, I know I... I blocked the live chat off of YouTube. I uh, had to do that for a very good reason. Uh, it was not, uh, you know, had some unpleasant attacks, which I kind of expect. I, I knew that was going to happen. As soon as we start preaching this good news gospel, all the claws come out, the wolves come out, and they just start attacking and saying all kinds of nasty stuff about us. But, you know, it kind of hurt, it, you know, it really. Uh, and that's why I just shut all the comments down for the YouTube channel. Twitch TV still got them. So does Twitter uh, and all the other channels as well. But, uh, you know, and I, I get, I we've got a chat line here too on Restream TV where I can actually click on and, and check it out. But um, for the, you know, for the most part, that's why I have it all blocked off. So, you know, you guys can still send in chats, but, uh, you know, I... But I'm um, highly, probably not going to respond right away because I can't watch the chat line and try to, you know, read study there. So anyway, that's kind of why that's all done there. So, all right, friends. Ah, oh, you guys are good. I appreciate you guys being so patient with me here. Uh, what a uh, What a fantastic Bible study we always have and we always do. Amen. And what do we got here? What are we time wise? Yeah, I think we got one more, friends. Let's go ahead. Um, let's see. I believe that's nine. Is it nine or four? That's what I want to know. Maybe we'll do this one and close out, friends. Oh man. Amen. Do do do. Do, 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 do. You want to do that one? Are we sure? Is that in the mix? Is that in the cards, my friends? That's what I want to know. I got to know where it is. And James, I think James here, friends. The, the, the book is James. Oh, maybe not. Oh, uh, Hebrews, my friends. We might do that uh, instead. Uh, yeah, because James is right there, so we got James 9. Um, let's backtrack just a little bit, friends, and, uh, well, 12 is actually, 
We may not do James here, friends. I don't know. Let's see if we can kind of maneuver something here. We might do a switch out here, friends, on the scripture. Uh, as I look at... Um, amen. I'm going to have to do a little bit of maneuvering here. Uh, now, again, actually, this morning, sometime after 11 or so, we're going to do an audio broadcast on Spreaker and Block Talk Radio. I, again, um, if I get a chance, it depends on when I wake up and how early, but uh, we might just do an audio podcast uh, right here uh, this morning. And then tomorrow night, or tonight, actually, the, right here this morning, like I said, 11, 11.30, I uh, I may jump on and just do an audio, and then uh, just the power hour, you know, the morning Monday uh, Monday morning uh, power hour uh, podcast, and just the audio part, and then get back on here uh, tonight. So we'll see how that goes, right? All right, at least once or twice a week, I wanna I wanna try to do that with the audio part of the podcast. I wanna just kind of do something different for you and just give you an audio uh bible study uh as like i said as i just kind of getting some notes together there uh, i never know uh, it just depends you know like i said i wake up every morning and just grateful that i have the opportunity to do this to bring you guys some church service uh, you know some kind of message out there uh, i just want to make sure that you know like i said you guys get something uh, it's always uh, awesome to uh, you know to share uh, share this word. So uh, amazing, just amazing opportunity I hear you know that I that I get uh, friends for sure. So glad to do it. Amen. All right. So <laughs> I'm just kind of going over some notes here. I'm going to change some things out. Uh, I am, I am. So we're going to do that uh, audio podcast this morning. And uh, I may actually try to get in there and um, maybe record it, uh, pre-record it and then release it in the morning. Kind of see how that goes. You know, like I said, I never know here. Uh, Amen. So let me kind of go over. Maybe we'll do James tomorrow, uh, you know, or on one of the bot podcasts, I let's see. I think I want to do because I want to save. I want to save this uh, as I was kind of looking through stuff. I kind of want to save out. Um, let's see. So Ezekiel. Um, let's see. We're going to continue with Ezekiel uh, again. Um, Ezekiel, what, three and four. I think that's the plan for tonight's podcast back on here. Uh, we want to go with Ezekiel three and four. Um, amen. And as we kind of continue that, we're going to kind of mix it in a little bit here. So three and four, um, and that's probably what I'll, I'll end up doing uh, is just going through. Uh, that whole book, uh, maybe. Well, at least anyway for tomorrow or tonight's podcast. I think I'm still on Sunday or something, but for tonight's broadcast, we may do Ezekiel three and four, and then I may move uh, the book of James. Maybe I'll move that for the audio part of the. Uh, podcast there this morning as well. Uh, amen. Pretty much, like I said, friends, that's pretty much what I do. I uh, sleep and work and podcast. That's pretty much my calling here. Uh, amen. And uh, so we'll we'll do that. Let's see. Amen. Right. Sorry about all this, friends. Just give me a few here to get caught up on my notes. Uh, very important. I get kind of, you know, adjusted here. <coughs> hey, man. All right. So we got this morning's broadcast taken care of. Uh, and uh, <laughs> continue here. We got this morning's podcast taken care of. And we got the night service taken care of. 
uh, back on here again. And it's going to be the 19th today. Yeah, um, I think about 1030. We'll see. I, like I said, I kind of got to play it by ear because I never know. Uh, amen. So we're going to be back on Restream TV. And we'll kind of see how that goes. And then we got the audio podcast coming up this morning, friends. Just a few short hours. So I'm going to catnap, get all this stuff posted out, get all the channels together, and uh, go back in and retest everything, make sure the camera is uh, all squared off and, and redone. Sorry about all that, friends, too. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. I decided uh, I am not going to readjust it, and I'm not going to edit it. So I'm going to stick to the plan of God, and God says, nope, you got to leave it in there. Uh, friends, as we, you know, as we, we got to be our authentic self, friends. And that's kind of what I'm learning here and what I'm getting uh, for sure, you know, um, uh, which is, it's a tough thing to, you know, kind of fathom that. But we got to be our authentic self. So, I am going to do Hebrews chapter 12, friends. I think that's uh, what I'm going to close out with. We got uh, Hebrews chapter 12, friends. And that's going to be our closeout schedule, closeout podcast message here. As I'm just getting the notes together. Uh, hey, man, I always love this chapter too. Uh, so, let me get, uh, let's see, let's get some notes here. And we want, um, let's see, 12. So Hebrews chapter 12 is going to be where we're going next. Yes, I am getting the notes together here. 29. Amen. All right. You guys are awesome. Uh, all right. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a minute. Oh, I'm just trying to get caught up. We're going to close out with, uh, I believe, Hebrews uh, 12, friends. That's what we're going to do now. So, uh, as I am just getting uh, the notes together here. Amen. 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 All right. Looks good to me. I think that's about right here. And I'll, like I said, I'll get all this uh, uh, finalized here in a bit. Let's, let's see, I don't have any highlighters. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I got no highlighters. Uh, amen. So I'm going to kind of just fast forward here real quick and uh, get the highlights on it. And then we'll move on. Amen. All right. So bear with me, guys. Again, be patient here. Let me get a couple of these things together. I'm going to get the highlighter on it. And uh, we're going to close out with Hebrews chapter 8, friends. Uh, amen. I always love the scripture, too. It's always just, you know, just uh, inspirational, I got to say. All right. Well, there we go. It's not quite there, but I think it'll be okay. And I'll go ahead and take care of the uh, rest of that later on. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, the rest, see if we can get uh, some more highlighters on it. Try to straighten this out a little bit anyway, so I can at least uh, get some of that stuff done out of the way. And if you will, go ahead and follow me over here and get your Bibles together. Um, well, your notes and stuff, but uh, go ahead and meet me at Hebrews chapter 12 this morning. Uh, amen. All right. Get my notes together. Get the highlighters going. Again, I didn't have, this wasn't even in the cards here. But as I, as I was going through to find James, uh, the next uh, chapter nine, I think, nine or four or nine, um, I, I, st I was stopped at Hebrews 12, friends. Um, and, and I never, like I said, if I hear uh, even a little whisper from the spirits, I listen. I stop and obey what uh, what I hear. So, uh, as I was just reading through that, I saw a uh, verse there that says he is a our consuming fire. Well, that's uh, that stopped me enough to go ahead and read it. So we are going to close out uh, on this jam packed trouble started, my friends, in the beginning. Uh, 
<laughs> we had issues in the beginning of this podcast. Let's do it, friends. Let's read chapter 12, and I'll have to get my highlighters on that. Or not highlighters, but uh, my bookmarks. So let's go ahead. I didn't even get any of the notes together uh, here, friends. Let's, didn't even get started on that yet. So let's see if I can't real quickly here uh, just jump on some of the uh, some of the notes here. Uh, real fast, as, at least the best I can here anyway. And uh, let's try to see if I can't do that. Like I said, I'm not going to get all the notes. I'm not going to have time. Uh, but I, I did kind of want to jump a little bit in advance uh, for this. And I'll work on this again after the podcast. So, um, all right. Check out, if you can, real quick here. Read 8, verse 8. I'm not making it up. I'm just reading uh, the scripture here. And uh, you guys are are familiar with this. Uh, You know what it says. Verse 8, friends. So be prepared. Be prepared, I say. All right. So as we get back to our Bible here in just a minute. um, Again, kind of just going through notes right boom 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 and like i said not going to do all of the uh you know all the highlights and the notes and all that i take little side notes little bullet points uh they taught us in uh, seminary in there in college a little bit you take bullet points to everything, and I'm like, well, I don't, not on this one. But anyway, that's that's pretty much what I do anyway. As I I always read each verse, uh, go verse by verse, and then um, you know, do bullet points. Is I I just did mental notes there, uh, to you know to understand the verse better. And so you read, you know, take one chapter, read through one verse, and then kind of mill it over pray for discernment on that verse uh and then as i said you know as i do just uh take some bullet uh bullet uh notes there um you know just some quick notes uh kind of to help you uh retain information on that uh particular verse which helps understand the bible uh just kind of you know kind of some little tips that uh, hope work amen all right, so, all right, I think about got it here. Do, 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 do. All right, you guys, just give me a second or two here, about a, well, about a minute, uh, amen. All right, I just want to get these pages uh, at least part of the way caught up, so I don't have to go back, and I mean, which I will anyway, but. Uh, amen. All right, let's read Hebrews 12, my friends. Let's check it out. So, wherefore, seeing we all we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience, church. The race that is set before us, as I was just saying that, you know, I just kind of milling over that. And that's why I wanted to go over this uh, again uh, to kind of share that with you. So as we run the race, friends, have patience, right? All right. Looking unto Jesus, friends. Now, here it is, church. This is the point of why I wanted to go to this. In verse 2, chapter 12 in the book of Hebrews. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, uh, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God, friends. Amen. Now, verse 3. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds, church. 
Now, ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin, in verse 4. In verse 5, uh, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou that chasteneth the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. In verse 6, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, or chasteneth, uh, and scourge, or scourgeth every son whom he received, or receiveth. Now, in verse 7, if we endureth chastening, or chastening, depends, uh, friends, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? Now, in, as we see, let's see, get that together here, in verse 8, But if we be without chastisement, where of all our partakers? Here's where it gets gritty, my friends. Then are ye bastards and not sons? Right there in verse 8, friends. All right, now, furthermore, as we go into the next one here, now, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh without cor uh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live, right? Come on now. All right, let me get, uh, <laughs> let me get this part. I kind of uh, jumped on that one, but I do want to get that corrected out. So, uh, as we saw there, uh, amen. All right, that didn't help. Uh, for they, in verse 10, for they verily for a few days chastened, chastened us, it's chastened, uh, us after their own pleasure, for he for our profit, or but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness, friends. In verse 11, Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. In verse 12, Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down, uh, <coughs> and the feeble knees. And 13. Oh, that didn't help. What's going on with that? Uh, had something happen in there. Uh, I think it was one of my... Uh, one of my bookmarks dropped. As that always happens as well. So let me find out where it's at. Oh, uh, there it is. All right. Got it. Let's shorten that up a little bit here. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Always something. All right, so let me fix this part because that got really out of hand there. All right, about there. Anyway. Uh, in verse 13 again, as we are in there, uh, verse 13, And make straight paths for your feet, lest that which... And there it is. Uh, is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. All right, 14. Follow peace with all men, holiness, and without which no man shall see the Lord. All right, 15. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and therefore, or thereby, uh, many be defiled. So, 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. In 17, for ye know that afterward, when we, uh, he would be, or have inherited the blessing, uh, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. And though he sought it carefully with tears. As we know that story there. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the next part as we are in uh, Hebrews 12. A man. All right. So give me a minute. And yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can get this taken care of. 88. And we're going to read this part here. And we got uh, 1 through 29 on this one. That's quite a bit there. Amen. All right. Uh, a little bit of notes here and there. Try to get caught up a little bit here. Uh, all right. So he said there was no repentance. And though he sought it carefully with tears. Let's go to 18. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness, and darkness, and tempest, or storm, as we know. Now, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard uh, entreated, that the word should not be spoken to them, uh, any more. All right, for they could not endure that which was commanded in verse 20. And if so uh, much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through uh, with a dart in verse 21. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. All right, 22. But ye come, uh, ye are come unto Mount Sion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, uh, and to an innumerable company of angels. Amen. Now, 23, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits, of just men made perfect. 24, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling uh, that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Now, 25, see that you refuse not him that speaketh, for they, let's see, for they escaped. That's not going to work. Amen. Hang on here. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's okay there. We'll fix that in a minute. Now, as he says in verse 25 here, friends, and we're about to close out here in just a minute. So be pa uh, have patience here, friends. Um, not who refused him that spoke on earth much more shall we or shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. All right, I gotta adjust that. Amen. All right, give me a minute here, folks. Not who refused him that spake on earth. Amen. Uh, much more shall we not or not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Just kind of a quick recap on verse 29 or 25. Uh, next verse, 26, whose voice then shook the earth, but we now, or but now he hath uh, promised, as we get into the other part here, uh, where it is that verse 26 here in Hebrews 12, folks, we're going to check that out, saying, yet yeah, once more, I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And 27, friends. All right, uh, let's look at that. And his word yet once more signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made. Uh, amen. And those things which cannot be shaken may remain. 
Now, wherefore, in verse 28, wherefore we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, friends. Now watch this, 29, for our God is a consuming fire. There you go, my friends. How awesome was that? Ah, we made it. We got through it. Uh, <laughs> man, oh man, I tell you, friends, it is, uh, like I said, it's always a challenge here. Uh, I have, you know, issues and problems every podcast. It never fails. Uh, so, you know, it's just one of them things where you guys got to, like I said, the whole point and the whole lesson I'm learning is uh, don't give up. Just keep going no matter what obstacles, no matter what, uh, you know, problems and issues uh, hit. You just got to, you know, think outside the box and uh, keep going, you know, keep going and keep moving forward. So uh, as, I, <laughs> as I'm keeping moving here, let me go ahead and just uh, update this part. We'll probably, actually, I might throw Hebrews 13 in, in tomorrow as well. Uh, and, and I'll just leave it here. We're going to work on that. Uh, amen, amen. All right, boy, I got, I still got a lot left. You know, we could go another four hours, but I'm not going to do that, friends. We're going to close out. That's it for me. It's our wrap. Uh, let me, uh, let's see. <laughs> I got, I got so much left, uh, on the menu here, but we're good. I think we had a good solid Bible study. I made up for that half an hour that we had kind of trouble and problems. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Can't really do much anyway. Uh, That's it for me, my friends. Let me get these other channels out of the way. Let me close out. And I think that's already pretty much done. So uh, I guess I don't have to close out uh, Block Talk Radio. They are already out. So it looks like about another eight hours or so. I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, Well, you won't see me, but I will be here. Uh, We're going to do the audio podcast here, friends. Coming up shortly this morning, about 11, 1130 here. We're going to try it. I'm going to see if I can't get on there. Uh, I will work out my pro or the issues and problems here that I had. Uh, All right. Blocked or not blocked talk radio. You already you're already out of here. Uh, Amen. As I was trying to find my. My closeout spot, I couldn't find where, let's see, oh, there it is. All right, so Block Talk Radio, I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Pastor Rick here, good morning to you, my brothers and sisters. That's it, Block Talk Radio, see you soon. All right, hang on, you guys. Uh, Give me a minute. Not bad, not bad. They're getting there, they're getting, they're working out the kinks and they're working out the problems. Uh, for sure. So that is always a good thing. And let me pull that up. Let me go over here to Spreaker Channel 1. Amen. Finally there, friends. All right. Give me a minute. Let me jump to the audio part here on Black Hawk Radio. Got that set up for about 1130. So we'll ha- kind of have to play it by ear and see. Uh, how our our morning goes here in the studio. Uh, see what happens, but I want to get back on it again. I'll get a chance to kind of recap and reset stuff. And hopefully, you know, I'll, I, the camera will actually be still. I'll readjust it and find out what happened to that thing and why it looked uh, distorted. I, you know, and sorry about that, friends. I really didn't expect that to be uh, that much uh, problems uh, but you know, like I said, I, I really can't do much. There's not, uh, not a whole lot I can actually do. Um, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it roll. You guys are going to get the whole picture here. Uh, all right. So Spreaker channel one, you guys are off the air. I appreciate y'all. And I'll talk to you soon. Pastor Rick here. So friends, see you soon. Take care. Uh, and we'll talk in the morning. Amen. Or this morning, actually.